Have we met? My memory's a little fuzzy. Are you still a Nazi? Have no time if you still want the Ark. It has been loaded onto a truck for Cairo. If adventure has a name, it must be Indiana Jones. Where's my father? In the belly of that steel beast. Dad! Junior! Well, each and every one of these films have been an enormous investment of everyone's energy and time, and each one of them is 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 important to me. This one has a special importance because for me it's the last of the Indiana Jones films that I'll be involved in. So I wanted to see a completion of the character and, and I wanted to see his history catch up with him and find him in a place different than we imagined and watch what happens. And I, I'm very happy with the film. I think it's a, a wonderful entertainment and I'm also very proud of, uh, of how honestly emotional the film is as well, dealing with, with important feelings uh, that we all face in, in one form or another in our life. Always be trying to convince him to do something else, but not another Indiana Jones movie. I understand completely where he's at. You know, the funny thing is for for all of us, it's part of making a movie is knowing when the scene is over and not keeping going. Harrison, you're already 80 years old. Did you ever hesitate to do any stunt? No, I had the example of Phoebe Waller-Bridge throwing herself uh, <laughs> into every physical event uh, with uh, abandon. What are you doing here? Rescuing you! Hang on! Okay! I mean, she was wonderful, and I don't think that she's ever done the kind of uh, physical acting that she does in this film. Mm -hmm. I do what I think is appropriate for me to do. A couple of instances of whip usage in the film. And uh, yes, yeah, I had to bring out the whip again and retrain myself. Like shaking, your hands are shaking. You've just seen him do whip practice. The whip came back pretty easily too. I wasn't surprised. So this is you doing the whip again. We'll bring back the memory yes. for all the fans. Yes. So Indiana Jones is always something about mythical elements. Did you, both of you, ever encounter anything like that? Or supernatural stuff in your real life? In my life, I've seen some strange things. Some things I can't explain. <laughs> I've seen things. Things I can't explain. But if you believe hard enough, <laughs> but I've come to believe that it's not what you believe, it's how hard you believe it. And I've come to believe it's not so much what you believe, it's how hard you believe it.